What's up, everybody? Father with Itachi here, you know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning into episode two of Generation Two Pokemon Go. So, right off the bat, this is exactly where I wanted to go to start off this video, and the main reason was for that bench right there because I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little chat. But look at this freaking Grand Bowl, my boy Grand Bowl's here. So, ooh, 1325. I don't know how good that CP is, but I'm gonna make sure I throw on a raspberry, and I don't think I got any. Great balls or ultra balls? Let's go ahead and check. No, I just got Pokeballs. So we're gonna try to utilize the Pokeball strat because that's all I've got and I only got 35 of them. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, the fact that basically with Pokemon Go, what I have planned for this season or for right now, that is. Okay, oh my gosh, let's go ahead and uh, that's much better. What I have planned for this season is simply Every Sunday I can play Pokemon Go because every Sunday like towards my after my practice I have a couple of hours where I can literally play Pokemon Go but today's Saturday and the reason being is Saturday I work in the morning and it oh my gosh fam Ladian fled last episode to start off now Grand Bull flees I mean I wasn't really super stoked that it was a Grand Bull because it could be, it's not hard to get them. As you guys can see, there's a snubble on my nearby list and you can find a lot of them. But seriously, come on, fam. But back to what I was saying. So, what I have planned is there's not going to be an abundance of Pokemon Go episodes. I'm going to be making them a little bit slower than Generation 1, but you guys are going to see a lot of content um, in each episode. It's not going to be the same thing over and over and over. So, that's how I have planned for Generation 2. And basically, what I was going to say was for. Generation 2 episodes, I was planning on doing them every single Sunday because I would try to do something new every single time. Um, but right now, I'm at my community. I'm going to do the exact same walk I did to end the last episode, but I'm going to do it backwards, and it's just something that I can easily do. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up was on Sundays, I'm free a little bit more. On Every other day, I'm pretty much busy. And I do, as you guys know, I live stream at night. I get schooling as well. And then it's also soccer practice every single day. So I'm very busy. And um, I'm also doing my daily uploads as well. So I gotta get the video content out as much as possible. And Sundays is like kind of like my free relaxing day. So what I have planned is every Sunday is to do the episode. But sadly this week or tomorrow I'm gonna be busy. Sad news. And I don't wanna really uh, bore you guys with the sad news because it's, it's, it's just sad news that what I have to do tomorrow. But nothing bad it's just like family or relative related so I got to deal with something tomorrow and um, yeah I'm gonna be busy tomorrow which is Sunday so today is going to be basically how we ended generation 2 episode 1 and then the rest of this episode it might be on like Tuesday or Wednesday of this week or Thursday I'm not too sure but I'm gonna be throwing in some screenshots and all that cool stuff throughout this episode um, but the reason why I wanted to say this is not all of this is going to be in one day. This episode is going to be in throughout multiple days, and I'm still pissed off about that Grand Bull fam. But without further ado, we do got three 5k eggs that are going to hatch soon. So let's get to this walk, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. So pretty much what I do now when I find Pokemon like this, Nidorange, or anything that I've caught in the past, I just go ahead and click on them, see what their CP is, and since this one's 78, I'm going to run away. The only way I'll capture a Pokemon is if I think or know that the CP is high um, so I can evolve it into something max because I have tons of candies of all Gen 1s um, except for the ones that I have to evolve for Gen 2 like uh, Golbat, uh, Chansey, um, there's a couple of others but those type of Pokemon I don't have a ton of candy for but the basic ones, the more common ones I do so I'm not going to capture those and I did want to say one thing or show you guys one thing really quick during the week, I do play. I don't go out of my way to play. I just turn it on when I'm in my bedroom before I go to sleep just to see if there's anything nearby and capture things for candy purposes or do what I just told you guys, check out the CPs on those nearby Pokemon. I did capture a Hoot Hoot, a 10 CP Hoot Hoot. It was brand new to the Pokedex, so I had to take it, but I didn't know it was new to the Pokedex. That's why I want to give you guys an update that I do have a Hoot Hoot now. Um, I thought I already caught that in episode one, but I didn't, and I apologize for not showing you guys that. But it's only a Hoot Hoot, so it's not too much to worry about. 
But so far, I've caught a Murkrow, and I thought it was a high CP Ekans, but I guess it wasn't. But I caught a Murkrow. Murkrows are so useless because Honchkrow's not in this generation. It's in like Gen 4 or something like that, with like um, Electivire and all those additional uh, evolution Pokemon. But I'm gonna go ahead and get back onto the swalk, hatch these eggs ASAP Rocky, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alrighty, everybody. First egg already hatching. I didn't think I walked 0.5, but I already did walk 0.5 KMs. And oof, Fan P evolves into Dawn Fan if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. And what I do remember about this is a Pokemon episode back in the Johto journeys when they were um, they were mining for like these gems. They weren't gems. They're like asphalt type um, pearl necklaces. Like asphalt pearl. What? I don't even know. I'm trying to come up with something, but you guys know what I was talking about. They rammed their heads into the freaking cliffs. So that's a new Pokemon, Fan P. And we got, I believe, two more eggs that we're going to be hatching here. So let's go ahead and get into the second one. Hopefully, it is another Gen 2. Tentacle. Okay. All right. I'll deal with it. Please, high CP. Um, I'll, it's useless. I've, I've got one. You know what? Just in case, I'll, I'll go ahead and check out what my other one is. But I don't think I'm going to even bother with that one. That way, I just got out of the egg. And this next one. Ooh! Uh, Stantler. Stantler. There we go. Stantler. It reminds me of Giraffridge. Is Giraffridge in Gen 2? I don't remember. But Stantler. Love this Pokemon. Very cool Pokemon. Zen Headbutt and Wild Charge. Don't think that's a great combo. But we'll go ahead and find that out when I get into gym battles pretty soon. But 1105 CP. That's not too bad at all. So two brand new Gen 2 Pokemon into the bag. Stantler and Fanpy. So going back on the walk. And catch you guys in a bit. Look at what we got here fam. Pikachu with a little little hat over here, fam. This is for the uh, for those of you wondering what this is. It's a Pikachu for the uh, I believe it's like the anniversary. Last year was 20th anniversary, so this is the 21st anniversary of Pokemon. So basically, you, there's a Pikachu event going on right now for this anniversary within Pokemon Go, and you get a little Pikachu with like a. To me, it looks like a freaking birthday party hat. And I captured it, and what's cool about this is you get to keep it similar fashion to, let me go ahead and show you guys really quick, um, to the one in Christmas. Christmas had a Santa Claus hat on it, and now this one has the birthday party eating hat. I'm a, it, it's a birthday party hat to me, guys. I'm sorry, it's not an anniversary hat, but hey, it's new. Out of nowhere, we find a Cyndaquil appearing in the wild. This is, this is what I was talking about. Finally getting a starter Pokemon from Generation 2 here. I gotta watch the road because there's cars coming. And gotta make sure I get this Pokemon in. You guys know what's up. Always be careful. You guys see those tips that they're throwing at you all the time? Be careful. Watch out for the road. So pretty much we're gonna capture this Cyndaquil here. And we did capture it. So we're gonna get the Cyndaquil in the bag. Go ahead and add it to the Pokedex. I'm gonna go hit up the Pokestop. You guys know the OG Pokestop. Ooh, not too bad. Not too shabby. What does it move? Flame charge and tackle. Hopefully, well, now we gotta do the grind up for freaking Quilava and Typhlosion. Ugh. Capture a new Pokemon left and right here. Slugma appears in the wild, and I haven't really moved too far from that Cyndaquil. New Pokemon, well, I mean, I haven't caught that many new Pokemon from Generation 2 yet, but... We're finding a lot today, and I didn't expect really to find anything. I'm just so sad about that Grand Bull, though. And that wasn't too hard to catch a Slugma either. Let's see what the CP on this thing is. Forget what it evolves into. Macargo? I believe it's Macargo. It actually it just grows a shell somehow, but okay. Alright, we'll take it. Another Pokemon into the Pokedex. See you guys in a bit. I know it's getting really dark, guys, but I just caught a Spinarak. Look what's on our nearby list. I gotta show you this. It's. Ooh! Two of them now. There's a Sentrit and a Houndoom. I believe it's a Houndoom from Houndour. So I was walking this way. We were getting closer to it. Goddamn darkness is killing me right now, fam. But now we're even getting closer going this way. So I'm going to continue walking this way. I was on my way home because I'm getting freaking freezing because I'm not wearing a jacket or a sweater. And I'm wearing shorts. Came out here when it was light. Now it's goddamn dark. But let's go ahead and see. Okay, Centric went away, but we're getting closer to the Hound Doom. And the reason why I'm walking this way is because this is where we found um, Grand Bolt in the beginning of the episode. 
So we're gonna go ahead and go this way. Hopefully we find the Hound Doom. Hound Doom's more important than Centra. I found Centrits at this park that I go to, so I can, there's kind of a nest over there. So I can go catch one whenever I wanted, but I was just trying to save it for this episode so you guys can see. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can find them. And all those noises you hear from my phone, that's videos uploaded to YouTube, guys. So you guys know I'm doing work while I'm playing Pokemon Go. Uh, peace out, everybody. Well, didn't find Hound Doom, but I found a Bulbasaur. Is that, is that worth anything, guys? Yeah, so I'm still on track for Hound Doom. I ended up going to where we found the Grand Bowl and it disappeared. So I've decided to go the opposite way now. And I don't know what's going on because it went to number two and then it switched with number three. So now it's number three. Oh, okay, you're killing me, Bobo, so I don't really want you. You're just something that I would like to capture, fam. Sup? Bulbasaur, just get captured, bro. Just get captured, fam. I need to find the, the Hound Doom's more important than you, bro. Run away. I don't care. You're going to ball. Thank you. All right, so hopefully we get this, get this in quick, and then I'll be able to show you guys where, where he actually is. So he's number three on the list. So I guess I'm gonna go up to here. If not, I'm gonna go over there. There's a shortcut up here anyways to get over there instead of having to go all the way back around. So let's find this thing, fam. All right, so both the Sentrits and the Hound Doom were not findable. Didn't find them. I'm upset. As you guys can see, my sightings, they're nowhere to be found. I don't, I was mainly looking for the Hound Doom. I went north, south, east, and west. I went every single direction. He would get closer and then I don't know where he just popped back to like fifth or sixth on my list and I have no clue where he went. These two things, both Nidoran, male and female, are always right here. I don't know why. That's just got to be a thing in this game. They're always here. But I did capture another, like, spinner rack. I captured a, another, um, not two. So I'm going to get some evolutions coming up soon. But they got my hopes up, fam. Hound Doom and a sentry, and I couldn't get them. Couldn't find them. And then Grand Bull, of course, he fled right in the beginning of the episode. But we're going to head on home. Almost out of battery anyways. And I'll catch you guys in just a little bit. What's up, everybody? So, pretty much back at it again. New day, new journey, but same old vlog. I do got some great news that I want to share with you guys. But I won't be doing that until I get to the clubhouse in my uh, community, which I just left. And, um... It's, it's some great news, so you guys got to stay tuned for that. And basically, the reason why I won't do it there is because I know it's going to get dark soon, so I want to make sure you guys, I can show you guys what I want to show you. And um, how that's going to work is when I get to the clubhouse, and the reason why I plan on going there anyways is because I want to go ahead and work out. This is Monday, and I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the very early of 2017, I gave you guys a promise where I'm going to live stream every single day at night and upload every single day daily. And uh, I also promised you guys that I was gonna do Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, my workout days, and today's Monday, and I still haven't stopped, and it's been three months so far, or we're just getting into the third month. So, still hitting it strong, guys. So, I haven't broke down on my promise. So I'm still working out, still doing YouTube, as you guys know. And now we've just re-added Pokemon Go to our playlist and to our recordings. Nothing really on the nearby list. There's a Hoot Hoot Eevee and Spinarak by the uh, Pokestop, which I'm going to right now. And then Nidorans and Cubones uh, nearby. So really nothing. I did catch a Natu right at my house when I started to film this. Um, so I've got that already. But pretty much if I don't find anything, I'll catch you guys at the clubhouse and see you guys in a bit. Alrighty everybody, getting it in on this Pokestop real quick. And then we're going to catch this Spinarak that is right next to us. Um, I don't think I got an egg. Ooh, there's a Spinarak and a Hoot Hoot. So there's Eevee, we are, that was on the nearby list for this Pokestop that I'm right next to. Was uh, just south of us and it was only like a CP 170 something, so I'm not even going to bother. But um, these two gyms, I mean, they've always been mystic. They've been mystic for a long time. We are getting very close to actually being able to evolve Snubble and being able to evolve uh, Spinneret here. Uh, just keep spamming candies and keep transferring the ones that we don't need. I probably don't need this same shoe, but as always, just to keep you guys posted, I am still checking out all the Pokemon. 8.53 freaking sand shrew. I don't have that many Pokeballs, but I might get that. And there was also something else that I wanted to show you guys. As you guys know, I'm not supposed to be able to go to these two Pokestops that are within this community behind me. Um, but there's a damn Sentrit there. 
Not that Accenture is really hard to find, but I haven't caught it yet. Okay, there's a Hoot Hoot that I might utilize. Oh, there's a new Eevee. So this might be the Eevee that I was supposed to be getting because I just saw another, oh, this was even freaking worse. So I'm not even gonna bother. So really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Uh, Saint True, CCP wise, what Saint True is like. So I got a 14 CP Saint True, so that's just kind of useless for me to bother. Uh, see what my sand slash is. If it's it's kind of decent, so I'm not even gonna bother catching that sand shoe. And then on the bottom, um, what did I just capture? There was a hoot hoot, I believe, and the one that I just caught was pretty decent. Um, if that centered is still there, I'm gonna tr attempt to go to where I need to go to go get it. So there's a 349 hoot hoot and a 10 CP hoot hoot. I'm gonna keep both of them because yeah, as you guys know, the de evolved forms I like to keep 10 CP just because, just because I'm never gonna use it. And it's pretty hard and interesting and cool to get 10 CP Pokemon. So, yeah, when it comes to the devolved ones, I will be getting that. And then, yeah, there's Soul Centurate. And it is one of those two Pokestops over there. So we're gonna attempt to get over there. It's getting busy right here. So that is good where the security gate is. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right. Alrighty everybody, so we're going to be getting into the good news of this video and this is probably how we're going to end the video. Um, simply, this is Pokemon Generations 2. As you guys know, or as you guys might recall for those of you that have been subscribed to the YouTube channel for quite some time now, I redid my channel back in the summer of 2016 and we started fresh, we started new, and we were filming out a ton of Pokemon videos. And if you guys don't remember, um, I was doing Pokemon TCG unboxing videos. I really missed them, but I had to exile the series because I could no longer afford them. Um, but I still have all the cards. I still have a lot of most of the, most of the ultra rares and all the shinies, all the holographics, all the um, full arts and all that stuff, all the EXs from back in those days. Um, so I still all have all of those, but all, a lot of the commons and uncommons I got rid of. Um, I gave to my niece a lot of them, and then uh, my friends just decided, I gave all my doubles to a couple of my friends as well. So that's pretty much what happened to my cards, but I kept all the ultra rares and the EXs to myself. Um, what else did I have to say? Oh, we also did Pokemon Trading Card Game Online Gameplay. And if you guys don't remember, I'm going to really quickly give you guys over here. As you guys can see, there's a tin box, and you guys might remember what was in here. So, I have the Trading Card Game Online Loot Card Codes, and as you guys can see, I have a stack of around 50 to 60 cards right here. And you know what? I'm going to give away one of them in this uh, video. Um, some of them range from actually a bunch of booster packs. Most of them are booster packs, but a lot of them range to um, even mythical collector's boxes or tins. So you guys might get some ultra rare freaking stuff from the uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Loot Card Codes. So how it's going to work is, here's the one that I'm giving away. If you guys do take this one, go ahead and post in the comment section down below um, whether you've taken this or not. I'm going to post in the comment section how to win these cards, so please be sure to go ahead and check out the top of the comment section, and it'll be in this video only, and simply how that's going to work is um, you guys are basically going to have to subscribe to the channel, that's pretty much the only way you're going to enter, and go ahead and tweet me, it's going to be a specific hashtag and your channel name, that's pretty much how it's going to be, so I'll come up with a hashtag, uh, tweet me your channel name, and so I can make sure you subscribe, and everyone will be able to get one of these, and if you have multiple channels, you'll be able to get multiples of these, so just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So simply, that's how it's going to work, we're going to be doing a giveaway, this is one of our first giveaways in a long time, so I just want to say thank you very much for the support everybody. Uh, we are recently just hitting over 1,100 subscribers, so I hope to hit 1,200 soon. Um, I'm kind of at a stalemate now with the subscribers and the views to my videos, but I'm going to keep on pushing, keep on striving forward, uploading daily, live streaming nightly. Uh, check out the description box down below, like the video, and share, and stay tuned for more. Peace out, everybody.